Okay, now we know how to build the trickle-down gutter, and we know how to attach the two-inch gutter to a two-inch PVC pipe with a rubber boot. We need that compression fitting in there, so when we tighten it up, uh, it won't leak. Anyway, uh, now that we have a gutter, we need something to trickle the water down. Originally, I used a, a metal screen but it didn't dissipate the, it didn't disperse the water as, as nice as I wanted it to. So uh, Richard Helliger and I came up with this material, polyester felt, and it's pretty inexpensive. It's made from recycled plastic products. Anyway, here we have a piece of polyester felt here. I want to show you uh, how it disperses water. Uh, I'm going to just throw this on it. Can you see how it just soaks up the water? And this is trickling down very slowly. Okay, um, now what we'll do is uh, do an actual demonstration on a, uh, this is not a MTD collector, it's not finished. It's very raw, but we have the uh, trickle down mat here, the polyester felt, and this is a trickle-down tube. It's just a heater hose and it has some uh, quarter-inch drip irrigation spigots that are pressed inside. So if we push water in there, the, uh, the water will come out of these spigots and we'll, we'll see how it comes. It'll come down and hopefully the gutter will catch the water and it comes down. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see the water very crude demonstration. But see how it's soaking up the water? It hasn't even come into the gutter yet. Okay, now it's in the, coming into the gutter. Can you see the water coming out of the gutter? Now normally this would be covered with clear uh, mylar, a clear mylar film to capture more heat. Without the mylar film, the evaporation causes the uh, causes it to cool down. Anyway, the other problem that you can see is look at the water; it's squirting all over this large distance, so this isn't getting wet. Uh, so what we can do? I'm going to try to make this a little bit more efficient. This is a very crude demonstration. Uh, there's a chamber called a trickle-down chamber, and if we cover this like this, we can force the water onto the uh, polyester felt, like that. So we can increase the contact. Anyway, this is the basic idea of uh, the trickle-down uh, collector using the gutter and polyester felt. Okay, thank you for watching MTD Solar 102. Okay, we covered everything basically we want to cover. I just want to go over a few uh, things that we discussed. It's very important that we understand the difference between a hydrophobic material. This is a hydrophobic material which means that it's afraid of water, or repels water. And this is a hydrophilic material, and this loves water, and it attracts it, it absorbs water, it disperses the water. Also, it's black, so you know black materials get nice and hot, and if they're soaked with water, they can transfer that heat directly to the water. Anyway, uh, so I, I have a little water. We'll just demonstrate. See, the water runs right off this. It doesn't. It doesn't penetrate the, the hydrophobic material. But the hydrophilic material, the water is absorbed into it. Can you see that? Uh, 
Yeah, I guess. Right. It's hot. It's hot. It's yeah. very bright. See okay, remember our uh, test fixture. We were basically just testing the hydrophilic material because it absorbs water. So we're going to transfer uh, the heat from the hydrophilic material, catch it in the gutter. Uh, now, uh, you remember how we did this before. I just turn on the pump here. And this is the trickle down distributor. And we'll talk more about that later. Right now it's just running straight down. It's not really absorbing that well. But if we put this flap over it, this should help disperse the water better. It takes a while to saturate and then it uh, it spreads the water all over the material. Anyway, eventually the water will work its way down and go into the gutter. You can see the water coming out of the gutter. Now, if we get enough sun, we have a little sun today. Uh, what we want to do is measure the temperature of the water over a period of time. So this is a onset uh, data logger. And what it does is it's going to take a temperature reading every minute for the next 462 days, but we, we're not going to, we're only going to do it for a few hours. Anyway, so we just stick the probe in here, and I have to press this, this, this starts it. Alright, so we'll come back at the end of the day and we'll see uh, how the temperature of the water changes over a period of time. Uh, this isn't the actual MTD collector. The actual MTD collector would have glazing on top, so it would conserve more heat. But this is the basic idea. We'll start with this. Okay, thanks for your time, and be sure to stop in at JC Solar Homes for more information about MTD collectors and serpentine collectors and differential controllers and solar greenhouses and all kinds of solar stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good sunny day. Bye bye. So it looks like we got a temperature rise from 60 degrees to 101 degrees between 2.50 p.m. and 4 p.m. Well, we got more of a heat cane than I expected. I thought there would be more heat loss through the polyester felt just exposed to the elements. Once it's enclosed and we put glazing on top, we get more heat conservation and much higher temperature. I think the next thing that we should be doing is we'll build the MTD collector frame.